What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club, welcome back channel, and welcome to the other channel to get all your farming scenario news in one video for the day. Well, middle of the week, and it's still a slow day. Today, we'll be talking about what is going on with the TLX 3500. We will also be going over the new mods like 82 6 ton fertilizer spreader, and then of course, the last thing will be the testing list. Well, before we get into that, make sure you guys put in the comments section below, hashtag FS Daily News. We actually haven't been doing too good on likes on FS Daily News. So, if you like the video, make sure to pound that like button. Let's try for 250 likes on this video. If we hit that before the stream tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be giving everybody in the stream 50,000 FSC bucks. But anyways, the first news to go over today, guys, is from Hungry Cow Design and its Sugar Creek Farm. Detailing of the miscellaneous areas coming along nicely. Pretty proud of this one. That house looks amazing. This map looks amazing. I just hope it comes out in FS19. If not, we will be seeing this in FS22. Okay, like I said, not much news today. We have one more piece of news to go over, and that is about the highly anticipated TLX 3500. And as you guys can see right there, the 3500 series has completed testing. It is waiting for actually the ticket on it to see if it passed or not. If it does pass, that means it might be out tomorrow or Friday. I'm just fingers crossed right there. Also, he is going to be giving us an early preview copy, so whenever he does, I'll be doing a separate video on that and maybe showing it off on a live stream. Okay, so that is all the regular news for today. Let's get into the new mods we got today. Welcome back. Okay, so the first new mod we got for all platforms for today is this one right here. This is the MP Agro Tourist 12,000. This is from Connect Modding. Uh, but anyways, this thing holds up to 12,000 liters, 36.0 working meters, $28,000. And just look at the detail on that. Amazing. Okay, we got cover. We got design one. We got design two on that. And this is, let's see, 14 slots. And of course, this does fertilizer, lime, or manure. Okay, now on to the second one, which is another fertilizer spreader. This is from our good friend 82 Studio. Actually, this comes in three different ones. But the first one, though, is the 82's fertilizer spreader, 6 ton, which is 12,200. Uh, let's see, holds up to 6,000 liters. Rim color, any color on that. Design color, same thing. Let's just change it to where you at. Where's my John Deere green? John Deere green, there we go. Wow, look at that. Uh, let's see, main color, any color. So put it as orange. Wow, that does not look right. Configuration, let's see if I can go down to it. Will it let me go up to it? Okay, there we go, standard. Okay, we got extension, which puts it at 9,000 right there. And then you got extension two, uh, unrealistic, which puts it at 25,000 liters. And then back to standard. Will brand, you got A2's machinery. You got Trailborg, Michelin, Nokian. Uh, let's see, Michelin, you have uh, Bib Load. You have Agriterra. And then back to that, let's see, Nokian, ELS, Twins, and then back to ELS. Let me see those Twins. That looks really good. Uh, design, we have Aluminum, we have Steel, we have Galvanized, White Paint, Black Paint, Black Plastic, and then back to Aluminum. Uh, spreader System, we got Standard, we got Unrealistic, and then back to Standard. Like I said, this comes in two different, well, three things right there. Also, this is 11 slots, and this does fertilizer or lime, but then we also got the Salt Spreader, uh, I believe it's the same kind of options on this one, yes. And then we also got the Snow Melter, which these are 12,200 and 11 slots on all those. Okay, now onto the third new mod, which is we got some new tractors. We got the same Silver E Lamborghini. Uh, let's see, it is 115 horsepower. This is a small tractor, $76,000. Let's see, attached joints, you got standard, you got with weight, front hydraulic, and back to standard. Wilburn, you got 12 board. You got lizard. Wow, look at those lizards. Uh, the Michelin. And back to Trailboard. Trailboard, you have standard, wide tires, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, TM1060 standards, the TM800 broad used, and then TM1060 used. Uh, TM800 broad used set two. And then back to standard. Beacons, you got standard. You have left beacon. And then back to standard. In your setup, you got the 115, which is 115, 130. And then back to 115. Front loader attached, no, yes. And that is it on that one. This is, let's see, 10 slots. I believe it's gonna be the same kind of stuff on here. Let me make sure real quick. Iron wheels, yep, on that. Beacon left and then back to standard. Uh, 15, the 30. Front loader attached, yes and no on that. So yes, it is exactly the same. Let's actually take a look at this in game. 
Okay, so here we go. Nice detail on this one. This is the same silver 130. Uh, let's get inside of it real quick. Let me see if anything turns on. Nope. Okay, let's see. Toggle map size, horn. And then we also do have some stuff over here. So you can actually open up that door with the LB, RB, and the right stick left and right. Let's see, right stick up and down, opens up that door, and then left stick, probably the back window. Let's see. Oh no, actually the steering column. So you see right there. Oh, that's neat. Okay, let's see, set of lights. One set of light, two set of lights, three set of lights. So three set of lights, turn signals, that all works. And then let me turn over the engine and let you guys hear it. Love that engine sound. So there we go right there. Top speed at 24 miles an hour. Here is the interior whenever you turn it over. So there we go. Let's turn some lights on. So dashboard lights all work. Lights work on there. Okay. So like I said, top speed 24 miles an hour. Love the sounds of this. Wow. Beacon. There we go. That is the same silver E Lamborghini. What do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, and then after that one, we have the Lizard Tur Plow from KZ Modding. Let's see, it's $14,000. This is, of course, under the plow section. It does require 110 horsepower, 2.1 working meters. Uh, main color, you can change it to any color. So you want it pink, you can have it pink. Design color, any color. And then rim color, any color. Uh, design, you got standard, five option and then back to standard on that. And this is, let's see, nine slots. Okay, now we have the next one, which this is an interesting one. This is the wood chipper trailer from Corato Farms. This is supposed to be an auto load trailer. So we're about to test that theory out real quick. It says it does hold 175,000 liters. Uh, you have wheel setup standard, wide tires, uh, $28,000. And this is, let's see, eight slots. So really good on slots. Let's actually take a look and test this thing out. Okay, so here we are. I already had this thing all set up. Let's actually, uh, okay, I think the first thing you're supposed to do is unfold this, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go ahead and unfold this. Should go right down or up there. Okay, how does this go? That's kinda cool. Okay, so it goes right down there. Okay, let's turn, oh, we gotta turn the engine over. Okay, turn that all on. Okay, have a few logs right here. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is, I think you're supposed to just use this like a regular wood chipper, but it shows up as logs. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so if we move this thing, let's see something. So if I just drive right over these, will it take these? Just right off the ground, let's see. Okay, so there we go. Okay, as you see, it does say 62 wood chips on there. So if we just go right next to these. Okay, 140, started taking some of them. Let me, let me just stop real quick right over here. Okay, it's not taking them anymore. Hmm. So we kinda have an auto loader. Let me uh, get out and do this real quick. that yeah see right there it does there we go oh as you see look log that's kind of cool i like that so we kind of have an auto loader on well an auto loader for logs on here now i like that it's pretty nice okay now on to the last new mod for today and that's that is shed wood old by sluice modding it's twenty three thousand dollars nine slots on this ten dollars a day so let's go ahead and place this really quick there we go. It does try to fly on the land. So we have a little bitty like loading dock right here. We have that right there. And then some storage, maybe for some pallets or something. And there is also lights on there. Okay, so that is all the new mods for today. We did get a few updates. Well, actually two updates, so let's go over them real quick. Wait, check that, three updates. Okay, the first update we got for today is for the GNU 700. What did it change on this one? Optional front weight, multicolor bodywork multicolor crawlers, minor bug fixes, 
new engine sound, new store icon, and new icon. And then after that one, we have an update to the factional map. What changed on this one? Bug fixes, added lime mine, biogas, cell of bales, animal trader, wiring, and sleeping spot at the farmhouse. And then now onto the last update for today, which is the Cavernland Accord DL pack. What changed on this one? Added three new cedar models, added configuration of extensions, increasing the capacity of the tank, color configuration added, wheel co uh, configuration added, wheel color configuration added, mechanism cover configuration added, added sticker configuration, the model has been improved and optimized, the rear hero arm now moves independently of the drill, hydraulic hoses added, and added some moving parts. Okay, so we went over the news, new mods, and of course, the updates for today. What's left? The testing list. This is a very small list. So in testing, on PC, we have the Brick House for Dogs, Kaz Joukowsky Strip Till, which I probably just butchered that name, Jetaba Farm, Lizard Agri 13, Polish Dealer Sticker Pack, and last but not least, the Volcano Trailer Pack. Now on console testing, we have the BR Water Tank, Pioneer Silo, and Pioneer's Map. Now mods we're gonna be testing is only nine. Current rates time, guys, one work day. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Today's schedule is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be back with another live stream, so hope to see you all there. Also, we are at 59,927 subscribers. We only need 73 more to hit that 60,000. So if you are new, make sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Welcome to the club. Have an amazing day, farmers. Peace. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk when I'm all right. Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love